Hey everyone, Mystic here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of the updates Growl Era has received so far in June. This includes a brand new event which comes along with its own holiday shop, the new June VIP item, and an awesome new plasma shop update which features two new weapons. Now, before I do get into the video today, I do want to thank our sponsor for this video, the Ladies and Gentlemen Podcast. If you do want to check them out, I will have links in the description as well as a little bit more info of what they do at the end of the video. I would also like to thank both Slapchop and Jordan Job for helping me get all the clips for this video. But now, without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with the new event, we have the Strawberry Picking Quest. This was released around the beginning of June and requires you to explore the map looking for strawberry bushes. These bushes spawn alongside trash and mushrooms, so you shouldn't have any issues finding them while doing normal job runs. To gather them, all you need to do is use your flower basket that you can get at any flower shop on them. Generally, one strawberry bush will yield anywhere from two to five strawberries with no competition. Once you obtain some strawberries, you can bring them down to the holiday shop to exchange for four different melees, two toys, and various hats. I will go over each of these weapons now, starting from the cheapest. First off, we have the Berry Picker at 100 Strawberries. This weapon deals 7 damage at a fast speed with no effects. This weapon isn't necessarily bad, however there isn't much incentive to buying it. Secondly, there is the Strawberry Basket, also costing 100 Strawberries. This once again deals 7 damage at a fast speed, however I would rank it above the Berry Picker. At the very least, this weapon has a nice cute vibe and works a little bit better with the Strawberry theme. The third melee cost 150 strawberries and is the Strawberry Sword. This deals 8 damage at a moderate speed. Once again, this weapon really doesn't have anything special about it, so I don't really see anyone necessarily wanting it. The final weapon is the Berry Wand, which deals 7 damage at a moderate speed, as well as inducing the Poison Effect. This weapon is probably the main reason that some people are actually going out of their way to find strawberries. It costs 150, which is pretty easy to get, but it actually looks pretty decent. It is one of those items that are just obnoxiously large. On top of that, it has the poison effect, which is the most desirable effect for melee weapons. However, the 7 damage basically makes it unusable. There are also a bunch of other things in this shop that aren't melees that include a bunch of hats and furniture, as well as two toys. These toys are the Strawberry Pogo Stick coming in at 50 strawberries, as well as the Strawberry Juggle at a cost of 20. Overall, this shop and event actually isn't that bad. Normally, I completely rag on these kinds of shops with very little and impactful and cool items, however, the way this one is set up makes it a lot better. Absolutely none of these items in the shop cost Growlits, meaning the only thing we have to waste on these items is our time, which inherently is why we're playing this game. On top of this, the strawberries can be gained almost passively while grinding for Growlits, and honestly, it would only take a few hours to get enough strawberries to get most of the good items here. Overall, I would really enjoy if more shops had similar ways of operating, but also had some more expensive but cooler items. I'm honestly just glad for once that I'm not completely complaining about the holiday shop that was released. The next June update that I'll be discussing is the new June VIP item, the Bicycle. This is a pretty simple VIP item as you guys can see on the screen right now. It is simply just a bicycle you can ride on that has a small basket on the front. This bicycle, like most other VIPs, can be switched to any of the normal VIP colors at the VIP shop near the auction house. Overall, this month is a pretty non-noteworthy VIP. The bike doesn't really do much and doesn't really have a large upside, however it is still a nice relatively unique item to now own forever. The one major issue that I do have with it that actually makes me not want to use it is the fact that the pedals on the bike don't move, which to me is just taking away from the depth and detail it could have had. It also comes with a bike helmet as a hat, however it is kind of ugly, so it's not really noteworthy either. Now, moving on to what I feel is the main event of the June updates, the limited edition Plasma Shop update. Now, as you guys probably know, every few months we get a limited edition shop within the Plasma Mall. This shop will be lasting an entire year, however each item has its own maximum amount of purchases each. Within this shop, we have two amazing new items with some pretty large requirements. I'm going to be featuring and reviewing each of these items, as well as talking about some of the effects they will have on the game as they are tradable, as well as introducing some new mechanics to the game. So first off, the cheapest of the two are the Plasma Fists. These cost 4,999 Plasma Coins, as well as requiring 50,000 Plasma Kills to purchase. This is the first time that we have seen Plasma Kills as a requirement for these limited tradable items, which definitely changes how hard they will be to purchase. This weapon has two modes. The first is a melee mode that deals 9 damage and is fast, pretty standard for a medium to high tier plasma item. The second mode is a gun mode, which fires a large projectile extremely slowly, dealing 15 damage each. This also has a clip size of 6. 
This weapon to me actually seems relatively strong. Sadly, I haven't actually gotten to see it in action as only two people have purchased it so far, but it does seem pretty formidable. The Plasma Fists have a purchase limit of 50, which should sell out pretty quickly as 50,000 Plasma Kills isn't an insane grind, but definitely does take some time and commitment. The Plasma Fists also come with a pretty chill hat, but I feel a lot of the other hats may even look better with them. This weapon is actually important to the game though, as it is tradable, making it the first ever tradable gun in Growl era. The next weapons are the Plasma Claws, which cost 9,999 Plasma Coins and require a whopping 125,000 kills to purchase. This sounds like an insanely steep price and requirement, but when you see what this weapon does, you'll see why it is so expensive. The Plasma Claws also have two modes. The first, the normal mode, deals 9 damage at a fast speed, which again is the standard high tier melee damage. On top of this, it can also do an AoE attack that deals 10 damage in an area, but I find these type of attacks are never particularly impactful. Where this melee really does shine is in the Rage mode. This turns the animations and weapon red and changes all of its stats. The melee now changes to a slow attack and deals 15 damage. It also introduces a brand new mechanic as it takes 3 HP per second from the user while using it. Overall, this is just a super cool and unique weapon. Whether this translates to it being good in actual use is unknown, but it is still super awesome. As for extra stuff with this weapon, first, it has a purchase limit of 20 and is tradable, of course. It also comes with two hats that automatically change between each other depending on what mode you're using, which is another unique mechanic to this weapon. Now, I do want to address how these will affect the market as a lot of you are traders. Starting off with the fists, these are probably the more interesting of the two weapons as the market goes. We saw recently with the Neutron Katana being released that plasma items actually sell for quite a bit. The Neutron Katana ended up settling around 100 to 110 k I feel these fists will probably settle for a bit higher as I find the item more unique and desirable as well as having a higher requirement. My prediction for this item is that it will probably settle around 120 to 140 k I feel this aligns with what happened with Neutron Katana but accounts for some of the added benefits. As for the Plasma Claws, this is a little bit more complicated. Early reports have this item being slightly underpowered. Because of this, I have to split the prediction into two parts. The first is if the item remains unchanged. I feel because the item does not have a crazy use over other top tier weapons, that it won't rise too much. It is a rare item, is extremely cool, and is hard to get, but I'm not sure it will live up to what everyone else is thinking here. If it remains unchanged, I believe it will be worth about double what its counterpart is worth at around 250 to 300 k However, that raises exponentially if the item is buffed. If Plasma Claws become an insane weapon like I feel they are meant to be, I think they could settle around the 350 to 400k mark. But of course, only time will tell. And with that, this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to smash that like button as it does help me out a whole lot. As well guys, please comment down below your opinion on all of these June updates, I'd love to hear them. Now, of course, as I did mention at the start of the video, I did want to speak a little bit about our awesome sponsors for this video, the Ladies and Gentlemen Podcast. If you guys do enjoy superheroes, Marvel, and all things movies, then I definitely recommend the Ladies and Gentlemen Podcast. Within the podcast, two guys known as Austin and Travis discuss new and upcoming films, movie news, and a whole lot of Marvel. They post a new episode every Sunday everywhere that you get your podcasts, including Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. On top of this, they also post every Friday on their YouTube channel. This upcoming Sunday, they're discussing the new Toy Story 4, so feel free to check them out as I will also be listening this Sunday. All of the links you could ever need will be in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.